inside. So let me swatch, let me swatch these real quick for you. I'm gonna get some swatches for you real quick now. Hang on. Not smaller. You're not a smaller brush. You're a giant brush. That's why I don't like you. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little haul for y'all and then also I've got quite a few PR goodies to show you guys. So kind of a little show and tell there. I know some of y'all aren't into PR kind of stuff, like you don't want to see stuff that I didn't buy myself. So if that's not your thing, I will let you know when I'm switching over into that. But most of this video is PR stuff. So that doesn't ever skew my opinion. I always give my honest opinions. So opinions. I said opinions, I don't know why I said that, that weird, I don't know how I said it, but it sounded weird to me. So anyway, I'm going to give you my opinions about <laughs> PR and also stuff that I bought myself. So yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so y'all know if you watch my Friday favorites, I recently talked about, it's been a few weeks now, but I talked about the Wild and Alluring palette and the Galaxy Chic palette, which I love those. I want to do a video on those, either like a swatch video review tutorial video tutorial something i want to do something on those palettes because i love them but based on that i already had a couple of the wild palettes but i didn't have this one so i went ahead and bought this one it was like around eight dollars or something crazy this one is the wild at heart palette and it's like the pretty girly colorful purpley one so let me just show you a couple of swatches of these I really like their baked shadows. I mean, they are like bright and fun and glowy and glorious. And my hand is so dry. <laughs> I'm just noticing that right now. But what I like to do is wear them uh, foiled on my lids, like actually on the lid, and then I'll blend them up dry. That doesn't look that impressive right now. Like that one doesn't look impressive, but I guarantee you if I use that foiled it would be amazing. So I haven't really played with this at all. I've just swatched it, but I'm excited about it because I love BH Cosmetics stuff. Like not everything from them, but most things that I try from them, I really do like a lot. I got a couple things from good old HSN. So a couple things from Laura Geller and this little thing from YBF. This is the Delicious Lips Set. Can you see it there? Delicious Lips Set. So it comes in this big box, but then inside, it's got this really cute little box that it comes in. And she even said, I can't remember her name, like the lady that owns the company or whatever. She said she was like in a pinch and needed a clutch. So she used this as a clutch, which is kind of cute, but it opens and it's like magnetic. And then you've got your lipsticks inside. So let me, swa let me swatch these real quick for you. I'm gonna get some swatches for you real quick now. Hang on. <laughs> okay, I ended up with a weird knuckle swatch there. So I had to go over here, but. <laughs> They're all really pretty. I'm super excited about this one and especially this one. I can't wait to wear that like fall time. I mean, I would wear it now. Maybe I will wear it now. Maybe I need to wear that tomorrow because that's really pretty, but they're all just a really nice cream finish, really nice texture to them. Nice color payoff. I like the like color options. So I think this is a really nice set. And then a the couple goodies that I got from Laura Geller. This is the Italian Marble Lipstick Duo. It says Dulce and Riviera. And then this is the Blush and Brighten, just says cheek, but it's a cheek palette. It says a trio of baked blush shades. So first off the Lipstick Duo, um, really nice packaging. Like they feel really weighty and nice. And they're kind of like a, like a marbled, really cool looking lipstick. So they're really, really pretty in the container. This one's the prettier one of the two. This one's a little bit more subtle on this one, but it's just like slightly marbled. Um, these are pretty sheer, like this, I, I really had to build these up. So the kind of more like light nude color is Riviera, I believe. Yes, the light kind of neuter color is Riviera and that is Dulce, yes. So they're just kind of more sheer and glossy, still nice, still really comfortable on the lips, but I was kind of hoping for a little bit more color with them. So there are those. And then the trio comes with peach berry, pink buttercream and tropic hues. I really bought this more for travel and then also in my freelance kit because it's just nice that they're all there together. Let me show you like the, there are the swatches. So you can see the swatches. So that is the peach one. That's pink buttercream. And that one is Tropic Hues. 
So really pretty, and then, I mean, the packaging is adorable. And then you open it up, and you've got your blushes right there. So it's just really easy. It's all convenient and nice for travel, so that's why I bought it. And it does have um, a little mirror in it, which is nice too. So yeah, I really like it. And I wanted to throw this in this video because I don't think I've mentioned this in any other videos. If I have, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. But this is one of the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in Dream Huge. And I like this. It's not quite the color I was expecting. I was, it really even looks like in the container like it would be what I was expecting. I was expecting more of kind of like a cool tone pink, but on me it pulls pretty warm. So it's kind of a more like neutral to warm pink, but it's a nice liquid lipstick formula. Like it feels pretty comfortable on the lips. It does stick around for a really long time and yeah. I just, I'm not the biggest liquid lipstick fan. Like that's not my first go-to, especially the ones that stick and don't move. I feel like they're either there or not there. I've mentioned this before. So this does kind of do that, but not as bad as some of the others. So as far as liquid lipsticks go, I really do like this one. I think it's a great option and that's a pretty color. Okay, so on to the PR goodies. So if PR stuff isn't your thing, I totally understand. Thank you so much for watching, but now we're gonna move on to PR stuff. So Merle Norman came out with a new collection around the 4th of July. It was called Red, White, and You. And these are permanent items. So that's really nice. So they're not gonna be disappearing. They're now just part of their permanent line. So I've got them all swatched here for you. And one of these I've already mentioned in a Friday Favorites because I love this lipstick. So I think there are five new lipstick colors and I have three of them. I have California Girl, which is a really pretty bright red cheerleader which is a beautiful pink and then cardinal which is a really nice dark red so that one's going to be fun for fall and winter so california girl cheerleader and cardinal all really creamy and beautiful love those this is what the outside box looks like if you're curious so you know not super fancy outside box by any means but the actual lipstick packaging is super weighty. I've mentioned this before, like this feels like a $35 lipstick, no joke. It is so heavy and nice and fancy feeling. So super nice packaging to it. Heavy in your purse, but really pretty to look at and feels fancy. And then they also have this lip polish. This is what the box looks like, standard, kind of basic. But this is a really pretty kind of like duo chromey gloss so you could wear it by itself just for a little bit of like a sheen on your lips or wear it over something for you know like a duo chromey sort of a look so that's really pretty they have a liquid shimmer so i have that swatched here really pretty highlighter can you see that really really pretty highlighter kind of like a golden sort of a highlight that's really nice i really like this so i would use this with like a stippling brush and kind of like stipple it on my cheekbones so that's really beautiful or you could mix it with your foundation if you want kind of like a glowy look so i like these kind of products i think they're really versatile and this one's a really pretty kind of warm golden one and then they have a wicked lash mascara which i love this mascara and this is in sapphire so just a really pretty blue color so let me show you that's what it looks like i actually have not worn this yet but I really like blue mascara on my lower lash line. I think it's like a fun little added bonus to your makeup. If you want a little added bonus to your makeup, get yourself a blue mascara. And I really do like the Wicked Lash. I think it's a really good mascara. I got some things from Octoly. If you don't know what Octoly is, it's a really cool website. It used to just be for YouTubers, but now I'm not sure because it just says creators on their website. So I don't know if maybe other social media avenues can apply now too. I don't know, I would say look into it because it's a really cool website where you can look at different products and then apply to try those products and then you just share your opinions, good or bad, about what you think about that product. So it's a really cool site. Kind of reminds me of Influencer, except you're not like taking quizzes and sort of applying for campaigns. Like they, they sort of pick you based on your answers to survey questions, like if you fit that campaign versus Octoly as you just look through and apply for the product. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. This isn't sponsored. I'm just letting you know what these sites are. So anyway, first off, I got a couple things from By Terry. These are the first things I've ever tried from By Terry because 
This is a pricey brand. I don't even know how much these two products cost, but I'll link them down below for you if you want to read more about them, but they're both really nice. I mean, really nice. First, this is the Ombre Black Star, and this is in the color Ombre Mercure. Mercure. I don't know. That's my best guess. Really pretty packaging, and it's just a really gorgeous cream shadow. And this is a gorgeous color. I picked this one because I thought it looked like the most kind of unique. Now, one feedback about it, it's really soft. So I just kind of like smushed the poo out of it because I was a little bit unnecessarily rough with it. So just know it's delicate. But that color, I picked it because it looked super unique and it's amazing. It almost like looks mermaidy to me because it's sort of like a green taupey silver. So pretty. It is glittery, like especially when you um, kind of blend it out, it's, it's shimmery. And I noticed it especially on my eyes, but I love that. I mean, I think that's really pretty. So love that. I don't, something about buying a cream shadow that's high price is, I mean, I'll do it sometimes because I have some of the Laura Mercier ones and I like them, but I don't do it often. So yes, I think this is unique enough to get it because it's beautiful, but I wish it were less expensive because I'm guessing it's pretty high priced. I was really excited to get to try this. This is the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I believe that this is the powder that Emily Noel 83 talks about, which she's kind of like me. It seems like that she likes her affordable makeup. So for her to like something higher priced like this, it has to be really good. You know what I mean? Which I'm that same way. Like if I like some high end things, I definitely have some high end favorites, but I mean, it has to like knock my socks off because overall I prefer more affordable makeup. I really did like this when I used it today. It's, I mean, it was really like, I don't even know how to describe the texture of it, but it's just like a really nice, finely milled soft powder and it just blurred out pores and imperfections. So, I really like this. I'm impressed with this. I did notice it's like just a sticker. I'm guessing this is maybe just like a smaller size that we got to try out. So hopefully the larger size wouldn't just have a sticker on it. I would assume not. But anyway, that kind of surprised me, but I'm guessing it's just a sample size. So the product inside seems really, really nice. And I got a couple things from Glow Minerals. First off, they were so sweet that they threw in some brushes in here too. So there's the smudge brush. That's kind of like a nice, small, smudgy brush. I did try all these out and they are very nice. Soft and nice quality. I'll tell you my favorite in a second. This one is the Eye Base, just a really nice kind of flat, fluffy brush. Good for like all over shadow. This one I wasn't as big of a fan of. This is the Eye Blender, but I'm typically not a big fan of these like, not smaller, not smaller. You're not a smaller brush, you're a giant brush. That's why I don't like you. Um, it, I just have smaller eyes, so if you don't have that issue, if you have larger eyes and just more eye space, eyelid space, you would probably really like this brush, but for me, it's a little bit too big for me. I really like this one. This is the crease brush. It's just a really nice, small crease brush. It's great, really perfect size, kind of a little bit tapered at the top, so it really fits in your outer corner and crease. Really great. I really like this one, too. I like this top part better than the bottom part. You can't even see this, let me show you. This is the Contour Highlight Brush. I really like the highlight side. This really deposits a lot of product because it's very, it almost reminds me of like a flat foundation brush, except not quite as flat. You know, it's a little bit puffier, but I mean, it really, if you like chiseled contour, then yes, you would love this brush, but you have to like an intense contour. So that was really sweet that they threw those in. Then I got the Elemental Eye Collection. So that's what the outside box looks like. I was a little bit surprised at the size of this. I was expecting it to be a larger palette. That's what the back looks like. And there's the front. I was just, from the pictures, expecting it to be a larger size palette, but it's kind of a smaller palette, but good for travel. You could even throw this in your purse or your gym bag for touch-ups or whatever because it's a great neutral palette. This is pretty much all mattes and 
um, satins. There's really no bright shimmery shades. These have a little bit of a sheen to them, but they're really more of like a satin. So here they are swatched, um, these eight right here. I wore these on my eyes and I really did like it. It's, it gives you a subtle, very neutral eye look, but it's really pretty. Like if you, I would grab this if I was wanting to do like a statement lip or just kind of a more neutral eye look or makeup look that day, I would grab this palette. So really pretty, but more on the subtle side. And then this thing, I absolutely love. This is the contour kit and I'm blown away by this. This is so nice. So looks like this, you open it up. It doesn't have a mirror, but it does have like a little like direction thingy at the top, which is nice. A little like plasticky thing that's probably blinding you. And then here are the powders inside. So kind of reminds me of the Anastasia ones, except there's four powders versus six, like in the Anastasia ones. But the texture on these powders, the texture is just amazing. Let me show you swatches, they're over here. So I've got it swatched, this is the, this is a matte um, highlight, this is a shimmery highlight, and then two contour shades. So I've got them swatched here, there's the matte highlight, the shimmery highlight, and then the two contours. Okay, so why I love this so much. I was blown away the first time I used this. I am wearing this today, have the highlight on, have the contour shade on. I'm not wearing the matte highlight. That's the only one I don't have on. And I kind of mix these two for the contour. So the first time I used this, first off, super pigmented. So be um, light-handed when you use it because you'll get like a whoa intense contour, especially if you use that brush from them. So just know they're really pigmented, they pack a punch, but they're so buttery in texture that they just blend like a dream. They wear really well throughout the day. I mean, that highlight is so intense. So you just need to use like the tiniest little bit. So don't go overboard with your highlight. Just get like a little tiny bit because it is pigmented and the texture is just amazing. I got the L'Oreal Vox Box from Influencer, so really nice. A lot of different products in here to try. So I did try all these products out. I've been using them and playing around with them. I just stuck them back in their boxes so you could see what the boxes look like and I can kind of tell you more about them. So first off, I got the Voluminous Original 5x Volume Mascara and then also the primer. So I have never tried the primer and I really do like this. I felt like it um, kind of help to accentuate my lashes, really separate them nicely, make them look longer. Um, so I really do like this base for that, just like a prepping step. And also I feel like it didn't, um, that my mascara didn't smudge as badly when I used the primer because most every mascara smudges on me. And this one, I haven't used this in years, uh, the Voluminous, but when I used it years ago, it smudged worse than almost any mascara. And I didn't notice it smudging nearly as badly, like just a little bit of smudging. It did smudge, but not, I mean, leaps and bounds better than it was years ago. But even, it seemed less goopy and clumpy and gross. So I don't know if may, may, like maybe the formula has been improved and maybe it's just not as thick and goopy and maybe that's why it kind of was better. So I'm guessing it was kind of a combo. I'm guessing they maybe improved the formula of this and then also the primer helped. And then this is the Brow Stylist Prep and Shape Pro Kit and I got it in light to medium. This kind of reminds me of the Milani Brow Kit in that it has a really nice like opening. Like it just, I don't know, has a nice little opener thingy. So that's nice. Kind of reminds me of the Milani ones, the Milani sets in that it comes with little tools for you, like really tiny tools, like a really tiny set of tweezers and then a little tiny <laughs> spoolie. I can't even show you, but it's a little bitty spoolie and a brush. So it comes with a wax and then a powder. Um, if you like these kind of products, you'll probably like it, but it's just kind of okay to me. I don't really use brow gel, especially like in a compact like this. So it's just personal preference for me. This isn't like my favorite kind of a brow product, but if you like those, I think you'll probably like it. And some shadows and an eyeliner. This is the Infallible Never Fail Mechanical Eyeliner, and this is in black. 
So it says rich cream formula, precise application. So it has the liner on one side and then it has like a little smudger dealy on the other side. I've worn this several times. I really like it. Like it's really nice and black, but then it smudges out really nicely, but then it sets and stays. So I use this as like, like a smudgy liner sort of a look and really liked it. So this is a win. I think this is a really nice liner. And then these two eyeshadows, I've mentioned these shadows before. I like these a lot. This one is in Paris Beach, just a really pretty neutral color, like a, like a light cream, almost white. And then this is in Pan au Chocolat. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned this before, so I finally learned sort of how to say it, <laughs> sort of. But both really pretty, really nicely pigmented. They wear well throughout the day. These kind of have mixed reviews. Some people love them, some people really hate them, but I personally really like them, especially Pan au Chocolat. And that one is really nice for a one shadow look. It's really brightening and beautiful. And you could even put this as your brow bone highlight and add that to the look. And you just look really polished and nice. So I like these. All right guys, so that wraps up this haul and show and tell. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below if you have any questions about any of these products. Let me know what you think about them. I'm happy to answer your questions. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.